and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Tuesday the 30th of July 2019. These messages don't necessarily take place today. Um, it may be in your past, maybe in your future, maybe what you're presently going through. So take it as it resonates and leave what don't. Okay, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpios. I just felt like I had to take a very big breath of air right there. So hopefully, Scorps, you guys are, um, your energy is okay here. So your first card out, the Seven of Wands, fighting for um, what you want, fighting uh, to keep what you have, I feel is important to say. Um... You're dealing with somebody who's very quiet, very um, reserved, very, I don't want to say secretive because just because they don't tell all, you know, bear all, doesn't mean that they're secretive. They're just not speaking about something. We'll figure out what that is here in just one second. What is their energy within the relationship? The Seven of Cups. Spirit's Advice. Thank you. The sun. And the outcome today for our Scorpios. Nice. The ten of pentacles. Bottom of the deck and shared energy. The five of swords. Clarified with the six of cups and six of pentacles. Okay. So sixes is all about... Um, releasing, releasing fear, um, releasing things that don't serve you. It's all about embracing trust and bringing the balance between the spiritual and the material. So um, one of you is walking away from this situation, laying down your swords, walking away, and because it's what's best for you, because you're needing to find balance, the material and the spiritual. Um, this is the material, spiritual. So you could be dealing with a past life soulmate, um, but there's definitely an imbalance of energy here that needs to be balanced out. So Scorpios, you're feeling very defensive, very on guard. Like you have to defend your worth to this person. Um, why is the seven of wands here? The ace of wands. So you're fighting for a new beginning. You're fighting to be able to follow your passion to um, get a new beginning. Um, you're like, wow, could be deal. You, you're fighting for this fire sign, fighting for a, uh, for a start, fighting to be able to be with this person. This person is very alluring, very seductive, very um, beautiful, handsome. Um, they're also very mysterious. There's a very mysterious nature about them that draws you in that much more bottom of your deck is the king of wands with the hair fit under it so this could be your your person this is the real deal but you're walking away from a different situation and fighting for this fire sign wow look at that <clears throat> perfect vibration you are at a crossroads no longer you are moving forward um this is your person this uh the seven of cups for me um, sometimes, depending on what um, it's surrounded or clarified by, um, can mean confusion, but there's no confusion about this. You see your whole world with this person. This is this person would compliment you perfectly. Um, the Seven of Cups for me is always, you know, the one and seven, the seventh house, your natural partner, um, you know, your life, your life partner. Wow. So you're you're trying to get this person's intention. You want this new beginning. There's a lot of passion here. They're mysterious. You, This person knows that you are the yin and yang energy. Um, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Um, Pisces as well. But um, yeah, look at the king and queen, how they're looking at each other. I love that. 
Spirit's advice, move into the path you, you are guided to move into. The universe is illuminating some things for you. They are highlighting the imbalance in your current life situation so you will move into a more balanced path doing what it is that you want following your own heart following your own intuition um, this person is put in your path for a reason because they're meant to be there the sun card is always um you know the sun is is at your back and on your side they are trying to put the two of you together all right wow look at this bottom of the deck again crossroads so some of you are wondering should i go should I leave where I'm at and try to be with this person? Should I walk away from where I'm at and and um, move towards this other person? One of you, whoever has the choice, is balancing that light and dark. This is all about um, working with your inner demons, balancing out that light and shadow side, um, facing fears and moving forward. Uh, this is amazing. The star moving towards your wishes coming true, the universe granting you that wish. These are all soulmate cards for me with the major arcana coming back together or maybe coming together for the first time. I don't know why I say coming back together. I do feel one of you is leaving somebody um, because the imbalance is just too much to take. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here as the outcome? The stars are lining in the time of Leo as well because the sun and the uh, strength card are both signs of Leo. You're going to get the second opportunity to have your wishes coming true. The stars are aligning. I do feel Wednesday. Um, you will, when we have that new moon in Leo, uh, is when this is going to move forward. So tomorrow, why is it 10? Thank you. All right, bottom of the deck, one more soulmate card for you, the temperance, balance. Um, wow. Um, it's also about being patient that this is coming to fruition. The universe is trying to work on your side to bring this together. You're ending one cycle and moving towards somebody else. The distance between you two, the like physical distance, it will no longer be there because the two of you are moving forward together. Um, this is also the manifestation of this connection. Um, your ships are coming in, but you have to be patient. So continue to work on balancing your own self, that light, that dark, you know, the, the fears, the, the doubts, um, that is needed to be worked on because the universe is putting this together for you guys. So, um, Tuesday, I see that you will be walking away from somebody, um, that you're connected to or somebody that you're waiting on is. So you can be together with your soulmate, your perfect person, um, your yin to their yang, you know, their moon to your stars type of energy because um, your wishes are coming true. So dream big, wish big because the universe is bringing that in for you, Scorpios. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this message. Join me tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, I'm going to start doing um, lives so make sure you subscribe so you can catch me live and get your questions answered. I send you guys all love, light, and God bless.